Welcome back to Swazzle Puppet Studio. I'm Patrick. And I'm Sean. In today's episode, we return to math class. We're going to show you an equation that you can use to turn a flat piece of foam into a round sphere. Remember that pull down map from your elementary school classroom? And how it had that zigzag pattern on the top and the bottom? Well, the reason why is they essentially took a globe and cut it to lay it flat. The map was made out of petals. Your puppet foam sphere is going to be made out of petals, but how long do they need to be? How wide? How big do you make these petals? With this equation we're about to show you, you'll learn how to make those petals. Once you know how to do that, you will be able to make a sphere. And once you know how to make a sphere, you can adjust that shape to make a pear, to make it oblong, to make an oval, a jelly bean, whatever you want. Starting with a sphere is good to help you understand the principles of how you go from a flat piece of foam to a round shape. Here's what you'll need. A ruler, pencil, paper, a calculator, or a brain. I'll use the calculator. First, I'm gonna just explain some terms. The first term is a diameter. Diameter is the measurement from one end of a circle to the other. That's a diameter. There's a circumference, and that's the measurement around the center of a sphere. That's a circumference. And the other one I'm using is pi. Pi is a magic number. All you have to know is it's this. And then it goes on to infinity, but this is how much we need for our equation. What we're gonna do is we need to figure out what is the circumference of our circle. So here is the general equation that we are going to use. We're gonna say our diameter times pi. And that's going to equal our circumference. Now we know how big around our, our puppet sphere is going to be. Now once we have that circumference number, we take the circumference, okay, and we divide it by either six or eight. Because our sphere is gonna be made up of either six or eight petals. And once you have that, that is going to give you the circumference divided by either, let's say we divide it by eight, let's just say we divide it by eight, that's gonna give you the width of each leaf, okay? Then we take our circumference, take our circumference, and we cut it in half. So circumference, and you want to cut it in half, okay? And that is going to give us the length of each leaf. So now we know how wide each leaf should be, how many leaves we should make, at what length they should be, and when all of that goes together, you will be able to turn a flat piece of foam into a sphere. So this is our equation. Let's put it into practice. So the first thing we need to know is what is our diameter? And the way we get our diameter is by returning to our puppet design. I'm gonna err on the larger side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it three and a half inches. That's our diameter. So using our formula here, we make our diameter three and a half inches. And then we're gonna times that by pi. 3.1416. And it's gonna equal 3.5 times pi, 3.1416 equals, I'm gonna call that 11. Let's just make it easy. Let's not drive ourselves crazy. So we're gonna say it's 11. And I understand that's approximate. Now we know that our sphere is three and a half inches from top to bottom or side to side, and 11 inches around. We know our diameter and our circumference. Now we need to figure out the size of each petal that's going to make up this sphere. So we're going to take the circumference number, we'll refer back to my formula, 11. 11, we're gonna divide by six. 11 divided by six equals 1.8, just shy of two, okay? 
So now we know that the width of each pedal will be just less than two inches wide. We know the width of the pedal, we need to know the length of the pedal. So we take that circumference number, 11, and we're going to times it by 0.5 to get the half. So we do 11 times 0.5, and that is five and a half. So now we know that our diameter is going to equal three and a half inches. Our circumference is going to equal 11 inches, okay? Our width is going to equal 1.8, approximately two inches. And our length is going to equal five and a half inches. So now we have all the information we need to turn a flat piece of foam into a sphere. Now I'll show you how to put it into practice. We need a length of five and a half inches. And I measure out a line that's five and a half inches. Now we need to find the center point of that line. The easiest way to do it this is why I use tracing paper. <clears throat> as you fold this in half, line it up with your little line there. And there is our center line. Now the next one is the width, which we've determined is 1.8 inches. I'm gonna try two inches and see what it looks like. If we get a more of a pumpkin than a sphere, and I know it to make, to make it a little bit smaller. So we wanna measure from our center line. If this is one, I'm just gonna just back it off one, just a fraction here. So that's one side. And then we wanna measure second side. Okay. This is the length of our pedal. This is gonna be the width of our pedal. We're gonna be making six of them, okay? Now what we wanna do is we wanna connect this line to this line, but because we are making a round shape, we don't wanna just do a straight line. We want it to be organic and round. So we're just going to draw a shape like this. Then what we do is we fold our tracing paper, and now we can trace the other side. So now we have this. And now we can fold on that center line and we can trace Now we get scissors. Cut it out. As I go, I'm gonna think about kind of rounding that line a little bit. Otherwise it could start looking like a, not a sphere. So now we have our petal shape. And when we take six of these, uh, we will be able to make a sphere. Now you know the equation to turn a flat piece of foam into a round sphere. Next week, we're gonna take our pattern and teach you how to trace it on a foam and cut it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't miss a single step. Hm. Okay, I think it's looking good.